Steven, come over here. Give me an intro for this video. Tell everybody what's going on, where we're at. Full breakdown in 30 seconds. <laughs> we're in beautiful Bassette with beautiful Marcel. It's been a while since Marcel's been on the, <laughs> on the videos. Uh, Bassette, Manitoba. You're running up on 30 seconds. <laughs> we're about to hop in a plane, Blue Water Aviation, Shining Falls Lodge, Family Lake, kayak fishing. Kayak fishing? No. <laughs> that's it, that's all you're giving them. Well, this, this place, uh, I have some memories here because it was like kind of the transition in, I guess, you know, my, my filming career, I guess you could say. I remember I came up here five years ago. We're flying to Shining Falls Lodge. Um, I was filming something called the Destination Spotlight. It was a four or five minute little mini documentary piece. And I got to go to Shining Falls for the first time. And at that point, I was just starting off the YouTube channel. I remember catching some bass off the dock here, which was a separate video. Went to Manicotaga on the way up, did some shore fishing. But now we're back. Yeah, the focus is some videos for the YouTube channel with you guys. We got the Travel Manitoba crew. We got some people from Old Town Kayaks because they flew some kayaks up. They flew six Old Town fishing kayaks up to the lodge. This is gonna be super unique. We're doing flying kayak fishing and I um, guess we gotta introduce you to the rest of the crew. All right guys, I'm putting you all on the spot for introductions. First off. First, first but not least. You're the one that organized this, right? To some extent, I was sort of the catalyst. Name? Doug Olander. Doug Olander, where's home for you? Uh, Florida. So this is pretty far from home. Uh, you could say that. <laughs> yeah. Quite a ways. Have you done? Have you fished in Manitoba before? I have. Yeah. Yeah. A yeah. little bit. Yeah. So how did you come up with the idea of flying in some kayaks? Something I've wanted to do. Plus the fact that I looked around, uh, I checked, and like you know, a lot of lodges in flying lodges, nobody offers kayak fishing. So I figured we try to get one started. Awesome. And yeah. you're, you'll be writing some articles, taking some pictures? Yeah, some. Mostly I'm going to rely on uh, my, my buddy Jason over there to, for his photos. That's fair. Well, we will get to know you more this week. All right, man. All right, who's next? Who's next? Alex? Alex Sherbnow, marketing manager for Old Town. Um, yeah, we're going to fly in. We're going to catch some walleye, hopefully some big pike. Brought the fly rods. Have you fished a mantle before? No. First, First time. time First time fishing Canada. So Amazing. This is all new, but I'm from the Upper Peninsula. It's basically the same thing, right? Alex and I have known each other for a couple of years now. He's a youper, right? Is that the term? Yeah, he's a youper. He's proud. a youper. And uh, yeah, this, this trip uh, kind of came together last minute. I actually didn't know if it happened. There's just a ton of logistics, but the biggest thing was I think getting the kayaks up here, right? Yeah, because like, we had to get the kayaks all the way here from Old Town, Maine. Yeah. Then load them on a plane and fly them all the way up there. Then you have your fish finders, all the gear. Everything. I mean, but well, we made it. We're doing it. And we're flying out shortly. But we're not done with introductions. Hello. McKeon Roberts. I'm from Wired to Fish, videographer, video editor. And we're up here in beautiful Bissette. And go whack on some walleyes for a whole week and hopefully get a master angler pike. On nice. So you're not just filming, you'll do some fishing too? Well, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it depends how the filming goes. <laughs> all right, last but not least. Last but not least, hi. Nice. Joe Lago, spring manager with Old Town uh, from Wisconsin. And yeah, my first time too to fish out here in Canada. This is exciting. We got we got a lot of people for their first time uh, in Canada or Manitoba, and uh, it's just it's so good to see flying lodges operating again because um, it was quiet the last couple of years. So we're headed to Shining Falls, and if you guys haven't watched the doc, you know mini doc that I shot a couple of years ago, you should watch it. it. Gives you kind of a vibe of the owners and the place, and. Um, the owners are amazing. You'll get to meet them and such nice people. It's such a, you know, home home feel. You're like, you leave as family with these people. But anyways, we got some gear to load up and with like three or four videographers, there's a lot of gear, a ton of gear. So we'll see if it all fits. Oh, we almost forgot Jason. Jason. Hi. You almost snuck by. You were, you were avoiding the camera, weren't you? I was. You like being behind the camera, not in front of the camera? Awesome. Well, it's, uh, it's great getting a couple Florida boys up here because uh, they're far from home. That's gonna be good. Good, I'm back. I love it. Oh, good to see you. Oh, it's good awesome. You. How much work was it getting these up here? Uh, it was more convincing the pilots to actually do their thing. Um, no, it was. Uh, we ended up tying them on externally so they had to pull off the. Do you have pictures of it? I have pictures of Simon struggling. 
inside, <laughs> trying to get it out from inside. Nice. And I think I might have taken a picture externally. Yeah. All right, let's get you guys sorted. First thoughts, Alex? First full plane ride. This is awesome. Yeah. yeah. They don't have this in the States. Well, you can sit on the beach. <laughs> get your tan on. Yeah. You guys It'll can feel fish. like Florida. It'll feel just like Florida, Jason. <laughs> Uh, limit is four per person. We do conservation limits here. Do not release any fish that have been put on the stringer. Uh, barbless hooks need to be used in Manitoba, so any hooks that are on your line have to be pinched. They can be barbed in your tackle box, but make sure whenever you're tying one on, check the barb, pinch the barb, and you're good to go. Walleye tacos here today, and we do dinner at 6.30. All right. We're back. Got the little intro speech from Tobias. Uh, yeah, it's been a couple years since I've been here. So check this out. This is the coolest part of this trip. They flew in Old Town kayaks, the pedal drives, the 120s, the 12-foot version. Look at this. Well, this is our uh, our pad. Our humble abode. Isn't this deck unbelievable? Cabin number four off the point. Beautiful. Give me the tour. Uh, this is the deck. Okay. This is the point. Yeah. That's the lake. Say welcome to my crib. Welcome to my crib. This is Hunt Fish and Bee Cribs. <laughs> so this is the couch. Nice that's, sectional. That's a wood stove. Yeah. Bathroom. Kitchen. A couple bedrooms. This is big for three people. It's perfect. Big table for camera gear. What are you filming this week, Marcel? Well, uh, not so much. I mean, you're here, so I can just fish, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> Keevan will be on the top bunk. I'll be on the bottom bunk. Yeah, we'll and then I'll be whichever one looks. <laughs> we don't all have to sleep in the same room, guys. No, there's only one room. There's only <laughs> one room. No, no, storage, storage. That's where we'll keep all the rods and stuff. Lots of, lots of room here. All right, so what do you pack on a flying fishing trip? Well, I've probably packed a couple more rods than I need to. Um, kind of a split between walleye and pike. I'll run you down what I got and what it's for. I got a 6.3 medium, that is a walleye jigging rod. 7.3 medium fast, that's a swim bait rod. Whipping some jigs. And then I've got a 7.6 medium light, that's for drop shot and lindy rig and that sort of stuff. And then I have one other rod that normally I wouldn't bring this one, but I want to do some bottom bouncing on this trip. This is a 7.9 heavy modern fast. It's like a steelhead rod, so it's got a nice slow action for bottom bouncing, doesn't pull hooks. And then as far as pike rods, I mean, a little heavier than I would take for muskies, so I got a 7.5 extra heavy fast. This is a bass, like, flipping rod. And then I got an eight foot moderate fast action. This is a swim bait rod. So, you know, I could, if, if I just had to pick one rod for each, I would pick probably that 7.3 medium for walleyes and an eight foot medium heavy for swim baits, but obviously, I'm a gear guy, a gear nut, so I like to bring, I like to have enough, because you break a rod on a trip like this, nice to have backups. But anyways, I'm gonna rig up, and I heard there's fish tacos for lunch. We didn't even catch any fish. So I don't know where they got the fish from. Contact with like a three or five. Whoa, what? Fish for lunch. Fish tacos. Wow, didn't even have to catch them. They probably knew your angling skills and decided exactly. to pre-catch some. Yeah, and uh, yeah. Would Josh McFadden approve of this? Uh, this is definitely the plating skills of Josh McFadden at work here. How do you like that? Beautiful. Good color. Got nice, a little green nice on there, a little green it. and a little red. What do you got? Some uh, some of Alan's homemade donuts. Oh baby. Oh yeah. Hook set. You can touch them all. That's for me. <laughs> oh, it's hot. You really went for that one, eh? Yeah, that one looked like the, the best one of them all. 
Oh my goodness. It's so hot. Cheers, boys. So hot. All right. A little bit of wind. That's all right. Some walleye chop. Oh, here's the dogs. Wait, you got to see the camp dogs. What's the dog's name? Luna. Luna. She's a pup this year. What up, dog? You want a belly rub? Yes. That donut was probably the best donut I've ever had. Now we have to do some rigging on the kayaks. I want to rig up my tripod on the nose so I can put this big camera on the front. Uh, at some point, we probably will paddle out just from the beach here. Today, we're probably gonna head to a different part of the lake. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the pontoon and use it to take all the kayaks out at once and then we'll get to a different part of the lake and then we can split up once we get there. So it'll be cool. Yeah. All right, we are getting the kayaks loaded onto the barge, the pontoon, and we're gonna head out. First day is always a lot of getting ready, getting unloaded. I'm gonna break this into multiple videos, doing something a little different, a little bit of a different theme every day, but today the goal is catching some walleyes. Need to load yeah. on and off on the water. Look at that strong farm boy. Ah yeah. <laughs> there we go. And then the next one's coming on. And then... Boom. What are your thoughts on mother shipping the kayaks? I want, I want your opinion. Way. It is the best way. It's not so purist, but would people like stick their noses up at this? I don't think so. No. I mean, we're just attacking bigger water, right? Yeah. You could pedal it, but why not be efficient? There you go. That, that barge is great. And then, I mean, yeah, we're taking the barge up. It'll be cool because then we can break apart. And I mean, you can still go, whatever. Five, six, seven miles an hour. Be able to fish in big spots. If some guys want to pike fish, you can pike fish. But we're just going to a different part of the lake. So I'm sure there'll be times this week where we fish like right behind the lodge, but. All right, we are getting ready to go. Next time you see us, we'll be unloading some yaks. I am so good. Thank you, guys. Thank you, sir. Wow, I like the tripod mount on the front. You can see all of my legs. I just shaved them. I just shaved them for this trip. You want some minnows today? Ah, sure. We got it. <laughs> he can throw. Look at that. Perfect. Made for tubs of minnows. Barb is pinched. All right, here we go. Shining Falls Lodge. Eastern Manitoba, crew from all over the place for this trip. Tobias, just incredible host. Going above and beyond to make our crazy idea come together. Doug's crazy idea. This is fun. First cast, Shining Falls Lodge. See if there's any fish in this lake. Oh, first cast! Let's go! First cast of the trip. And we're on some walleyes. They will get bigger. Life is good. Sorry about the yelling, I was just excited. It only takes me all day to catch fish. Well, we're fishing. Rocky Point comes off this island. Spot that Tobias has had some recent success on and the wind's blown into it. I always gotta love when the wind's blown into a spot. A little walleye chop. Something I remember about this lake from last time is how shallow the walleyes can be. We are catching them in just a couple feet of water last time I was here. This is what we are starting off with. This is head spin jig by Frostbite with the Head banger, banger ribs, plastic. A deadly combo. Both new baits on the market. I do have bait. But I like to catch them on artificials if I can. Normally when I go to fishing lodges, I talk about, oh, I'm gonna gain so much weight because the food, the food's amazing here. But I might actually come out net zero with the fact that I'm gonna be pedaling every day. Won't be getting that tiller belly. Well, this is sweet. Who would have thought? Flying kayak fishing. Toby has just caught one I hear going on the stringer. 
Doug just caught his first fish. We are around some fish. The, the, you just get spoiled walleye fishing up here. I'm gonna try some drop shotting as well. Maybe move around until we mark some. See what we can put together. This is it, I can feel it. Boys ready? Nice. And that is a beautiful walleye. We are very lucky, or this fish is very lucky that we had fish tacos already. Because otherwise he would be perfect catch and cook size. Walleye number two. I think deeper could be the ticket. Ooh, that's a little better. That's a little better. Woo -hoo -hoo. This has a little more weight, boys. That's a walleye, it's a nice one. I think it might be a pike though. The old gator tooth. All right. Little jackfish. After something like that happens, you should always check your line for nicks. There's a lot of fish here. They're right here against shore. This, this shoreline stays deep a little, uh, a little tighter. 15, I don't know if the head cam shows that. You can see two or three fish down there. Oh, I do like the drop shot because compared to a jig, with a jig they're feeling that weight. With a drop shot, they're not necessarily feeling that weight if, if you're you know, not paying attention and they hit at it. I'm gonna lay down a bit. What a beautiful day. This just, it ruins a guy. It really ruins a guy. I'm kind of almost drifting, trolling this drop shot. Do I have a fish? Oh, I have a fish. I was gonna tie a chicken wrap. Feels all right. Might be a nettable walleye. Nice, that's one of the nicest walleye yet. Well, matchup of gold. Nice and gold. Upgrading slowly. Sweet. If you are kayak fishing, you know, obviously some kayaks have that spot lock ability if you've got a trolling motor, but use the wind to your advantage, drift. Like right here, I'm seeing the walleyes in 12 to 14 feet of water. Yeah, you could anchor, but you could potentially contact a lot more fish drifting. So, you know, drop shot, Lindy rig, jig and a minnow. I'm just scraping it along the bottom and just drift and lifting it up every couple seconds. Obviously trolling would be another way to cover water, but never wear a white shirt when filming. There's one. Walleye number four. If you come to Shining Falls and you decide you want to boat fish for a couple days, that's cool, but you gotta try the kayak fishing at least one day, because it is, this is so peaceful. We're on the fish right here. These guys. Remember how I said how kayak fishing is so peaceful? Come on! Oh! You're scared of all the fish! These guys, I call them friends. You guys, just getting up in my grill. Yeah, are you swimming right now? Are you hopping in for the shot? There we go. I think this is what a lot of we're marking down there. The little eaters, but there's a ton of walleyes down there. Pretty good start to the trip. Instant. We are on a lot of fish right now. Sauger. Wow. I just changed the drop shot a bit and now it's just nonstop. There we go. Drop shotting has definitely been the most effective and then shortening that lead. So now I'm using like about a six inch lead and these fish do not want to fall that far off bottom. Ooh, we're on a nice, nice mark. Our bait's gonna drop very close to that fish. Ooh, I think he's going down for it. Might just be like an average size, but. I think he just bit it. We got him. Ooh, ho, ho, ho. Nice, that's a little bit better than what we've been dealing with. It just looked better on the graph and everything. Nice. Oh no! Oh! 
The net slid apart, otherwise I would have had that fish 100%. Oh, that was the biggest walleye of the day. Shoot. As soon as I marked him, I'm like, that's a better fish. Oh man, guys, that was my fault. Oh, we're on him. There we go. Oh, ooh, this is nice. Nicer fish of the day. This, this has some weight. Oh yeah, it's the nicest walleye of the day. Come on, yes! That's a good walleye. Marcel's gonna hop in the water to get an underwater release, but I'm gonna show you guys this fish. Not a jumbo by any means, but a nice specimen. Nice Manitoba walleye, probably 20, 21 incher. Going back to the bottom of Family Lake. Woo! I'm getting waked again. We're on some nice marks here. Instant. Ooh, all bigger size fish. There you go. Manitoba. Oh. And back. Gonna be another netter. Oh, it's a nice one too. Nice, that might be bigger than the last one. I don't know what it is, but now the bigger fish have turned on. That's definitely the biggest walleye of the day. There you go. That's a fistful of walleye. We're gonna lay her, lower her right back. <laughs> Life is good. <laughs> All right guys, well that is it for part one of the adventure at Shining Falls Lodge. Thanks to Huntfish Manitoba and Old Town for making this happen. Uh, very unique, very unique trip. And these kayaks are here to stay. So if you wanna book a kayak fishing trip, I will link Shining Falls below and you can come fish in this very same kayak. So awesome. Toby and Ellen, amazing hosts, and this is just the beginning. Please wear your life jackets. Thank you guys for watching, and we will catch you again very soon.